What's going on guys? I'm Mick Manhattan from the Scene Snobs and I am back with an all new Scene Snob Reviews, Turning Red, the new Pixar film that just came out on Disney Plus and it's all about a young girl who starts to hit puberty and feel emotions and once those emotions shine through she turns her into a giant red panda. The movie follows May around and she is all about helping and serving her parents and trying to make them as happy as possible. That means that she puts a lot of pressure on herself at school, a lot of pressure to always perform and always do things that they need from her. It is easy to see right from the beginning that May has a lot of pressure put on her and as it comes about and we see that her mother is the biggest source of this and that she will go to the extents of embarrassing her daughter thinking she's protecting her that has a negative effect on May in many ways but she always bottles things in because she wants her mother to be pleased because she cares until one day this magical curse upon their family or blessing depending on how you look at it and she finds every time she's excited about something whether it be upset or happy or any one of the other emotions, she turns into the giant red panda. I really had a lot of fun with this. I watched the story with my family. We had a good time with it. Um, it is brand new, so we didn't really know what we were getting into. I hadn't read much on it, but I was looking forward to it because it's a Pixar movie and they're always a lot of fun. There is a huge parallel to the movie Teen Wolf. To me, this was the movie Teen Wolf, told from the perspective of a 13-year-old girl. And it just, the coming-of-age tale that it is, and the fact that she turns into what is perceived as a monster, an animalistic monster to some, uh, but then is also embraced, and people who don't fully understand are embracing it and enjoying it. It had so many things that reminded me of Teen Wolf all throughout. But the ending of the story is way better. The ending of the story really brings things around. It becomes about family. And in true Pixar fashion, has some serious themes that it deals with and it's just a really well done movie and i really enjoyed it now when i say it's exactly like teen wolf of course it's not exactly like teen wolf but the formula is there and that's why i think it's important to compare because it was a movie that is beloved from the past that everybody likes but i really feel like this one took it and ran with the ball and did such a great job doing so. It's also a beautiful tale of mother and daughter having to come together to understand each other and understand themselves. This movie falls a little bit short in terms of it. It's kind of dry in certain areas and takes a little long to get to certain points. It can become long-winded. But overall, I did really enjoy this movie. And my ranking for it is 3 out of 5 Big Red Pandas. And I do think that you guys should check it out. I highly recommend it. It's on Disney Plus now for you to check out if you have the service. And I'm sure it will be available and on demand pretty soon. So that's my review. Thanks everybody for watching. Again, I'm Mick Manhattan. I'm the host of the Scene Snobs podcast and so many other shows. If you're here on our YouTube channel, please hit that like button. Maybe go check out the channel and subscribe. Or if you want to listen to the podcast, we're also on all podcast platforms, not just the YouTube channel. Uh, if you are interested in joining any of our, you know, Discord or merch or Patreon or anything else that we have going on, just go check out the scenesnobs.com. It has links to everything so you can read about it more. Thanks again, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for watching and listening, everybody. I'm the Scene Snob, Mick Manhattan. You can check out the Scene Snobs podcast live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on our YouTube channel or all podcast platforms afterwards. Also on our YouTube channel, you can check out great shows like Real Combat, the ultimate debate show for movie lovers, Mixed Movie Picks with new recommendations every week, Geek Fest Live every Sunday night, and new movie reviews and news all the time. Like and subscribe, and then hit the notification bell so you know when all of our new episodes drop. Thank you so much to all of our amazing Patreon supporters. With with whom this would not be possible. They help keep the lights on and support us in such big ways. If you would like to become a supporter on our Patreon and take advantage of all the perks like monthly giveaways, early access, and so much more, head on over to the Scene Snobs Patreon page and just sign up on one of our two tiers. Join our awesome community of geeks, movie lovers, and so much more and join up on our Discord. The Scene Snobs Discord is now live and you can head over to thescenesnobs.com for links to there and more. The Scene Snobs merch store is now open with original and fun designs that are available on all all different types of merch and apparel. Check out the scenesnobsmerch.com. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to all of our social media accounts like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and so many more. We have fun updates, topics, we talk about collectibles, and so much more on there. It's a great time. You can find all of our links to everything on the scenesnobs.com or on our link tree, which are down in the descriptions below. Thanks again, everyone. Stay tuned and stay geeky.